Shabbat Shalom, and welcome to this special edition of PowerPoints. We're talking about preparation for the fall feast. But before I do that, I want to invite you tonight, 745 Central, join us at House of David. This is going to be a powerful time. This will be the Shabbat right before the Feast of Trumpets, right before the time of Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement, right before Tabernacles. So this will be an exciting time. This, these uh, Shabbats right before the Fall Feast are usually full of energy, full of uh, revelation, and you're not going to want to miss this. So join us, 745 Central. And I'll look forward to seeing you online or join us here in the house at House of David. Okay, what are, I want to share this scripture with you. And uh, it's out of Acts chapter 17, verse 30. It says, The time of ignorance of God overlooked, but now he commands all the people everywhere to repent. Um, boy, I mean, this is a time where God says, um, Listen, I want to, uh, uh, let me see how I can explain this in an allegory. Okay, I want you to imagine that you're super busy and, uh, you know, you're, you're totally working on a project, okay? And uh, you, you are designing uh, uh, and you're laying down and, and uh, let's say you live in the central part of the United States, all right? And, uh, and you're going uh, gonna to ride your bicycle to New York City. Okay. You've got it all planned. You're writing, writing, writing. You say, okay, I can do so many miles a day. I can stay in this campground here. I can get food here. I can do this. This is where the most difficult places will be. Everything is there. And, and, you know, and I'm standing at your door, okay, and I'm visiting you. And your whole goal is just to get to New York. And I'm standing there going, hey, I need to talk to you. And you go, just a minute. I need to talk to you in just a minute. And then finally you can say, what is it? And this is just an allegory, right? Because you live on a big main street, you look outside and uh, I'm sitting out there and I've got a Learjet point uh, outside. Okay. And so what happens is you've got to shake your mind out of, oh my gosh, I'm pedaling up these hills. I'm coasting down these hills. I'm camping in this campground. All this camping equipment, all this food, water, provision, uh, uh, the weather, everything that you had planned for is totally obsolete. It has nothing to do with what I just offered you. What I just offered you was there is, so to say, uh, hypothetically, there's a Learjet out in the front and in the central part of the United States, you jump in that Learjet and in a few hours, we're going to be landing in New York. You don't need food. You don't care about the weather. We're going up to 30,000 feet. And uh, everything you just thought, all the, all the planning that you've done for a month to be able to go on this trip, you're going to get to the same place, but you're going to do it totally different, much faster, and none of your planning matters anymore. That's what the Fall Feast is all about. The Fall Feast is you have an idea how to answer your call, how to get your purpose. Uh, you know, who am I? Well, how am I going to get there? What am I going to do? And during the Fall Feast, God is going to come to your door, knock on the door, blow a trumpet, so to say, in your spiritual ear and say, why are you trying to ride your bicycle to New York? I got a Learjet out in the front. If you'll just go through this atonement here and abide with me, we'll be there in three hours. And you never thought it. It never crossed your mind. It wasn't even in your imagination. But you know what? A Learjet could pick you up right now. You might live in Kansas City. You might live in Tulsa, Oklahoma City, wherever it is. And he could take you to New York. He could take you out to Los Angeles. It doesn't really matter. That's how God works. God wants you to be focusing on him saying, Lord, I need an impartation for this new season of time. And how are you going to get me from point A to point B? Lay down your plan and let the travel agent of all travel agents, the Lord God Almighty, who has a great imagination, who has unlimited resources, let him show himself large for you. Let him show himself powerful for you. That's what the fall feasts are all about. It's time we're out of respect for the man that owns the Learjet. Let's slow down, let him in the house and say, where would you have me go now, Lord? And how do you want me to get there? That's what Trumpets is all about. And you're going to get a chance to really have your ears, your vision, your mind, and your purpose opened in a new way. And I'm excited. So I'll see you tonight. Shabbat Shalom.